Welcome back modding survivors. So in this episode here today, this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to install mods the very easy way. Now I had tried this program out early, I wasn't very impressed with it, but since it's a lot more streamlined and it has compatibility with a lot more mods. In this mod, we're going to be taking care of survival um, SDX from Spider, but you can install a plenty of mods with this launcher. So first of all, you want to come to this page on the 7 Days to Die forum. Great resource guys. If you have any questions, this is the place to go. Um, you can just go to the search bar here and do a search term and usually find the answer if you're having a problem or anything else. You can usually find the answer this way. Uh, works better than Google does because Google is just crap now for, for search results. But moving on. You want to come to this page, definitely give this all of this a read. You want to read this all. I've already done it, so we're not going to go over it. It tells you what it does, it tells you your modes, and it gives you three different ways to download it. Now, I, I download the 7 Days of Die Mod Launcher.exe. It's not a big deal. I trust them. I know it works. Um, this is my recording computer, so I wouldn't risk getting a virus on it. I do all my stuff that can get a virus on my other computer. <coughs> um, but you guys can definitely trust this. It will give you a few warnings, but... Just ignore them. It's all good. So once you got this uploaded, or just download it, and once you do got it downloaded, all you have to do is come down here. It'll um, actually do an install for you. I've already installed it ahead of time, so we didn't have to wait through it. But it'll do an install, a download and install. It takes about a minute. And then once it's done installing, this is what you get. It's a very small program. It's really easy to use. Um, you'll actually get a 7 Days to Die launcher on your desktop. Now, the nice thing about this is it doesn't touch your vanilla files. So your vanilla files will be fine. Um, see how on the main page here it says destination folder for mods? Um, now, it, it defaults it to your whatever your root drive is, and Windows is installed on C, so it, it's going to go to C. But you can always change the, uh, the folder that you want it to install mods to. Now, I really, really, really recommend keeping this separate from your 7 Days to Die actual files. And just as a note, too, if you use this launcher... Uh, you won't have the uh, you won't have the Steam overlay while playing either. Just just keep that in mind. I can't take screenshots while playing SDX. But as you can see, there is a ton of mods in here. There's Dawn of the New Apocalypse, uh, Seven Days to Mod. <laughs> I think that's where I got my Seven Days to Mod thing stuck in my head. I always say that. And I don't mean to say it, but it just happens. Um, there's a Mega City pack. There's a Prefab packs. Um, I'm not sure what the Fun Pimps is about. Oh, well, look at that. You can actually whip between different alphas. Oh. I might have to revisit that someday to show you guys old alphas. That would make a really cool video. But uh, there's the SDX headbangers, uh, Sphere, uh, Steel Mod, Power Mod. Um, I, I kind of dabbled in those ones a bit, but not really too far. There's Project Z and War of the Walkers as well here too. Now, I, I thought True Survival was in here. Or what's it under again? Starvation. Oh, Starvation is under here. So Starvation, if you want to install that, you can install this through this as well. And it's so easy because you can install many mods. But we're going to be doing uh, Spiders. And we're going to be doing True Survival SDX. Last time we installed the Jay-Z mod version. And this the Jay-Z mod will actually still work the old way of rechanging the, the folders. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is make sure you have your vanilla folder down. Uh, if you guys have gone and changed your folders and you're switching back between uh, different styles, go and make sure that your vanilla folder is the default folder. So the first thing you want to do is uh, it shows you this step. Copy from an existing copy. So what this will do is it will take your 7 Days to Die uh, vanilla folder and it will actually install it onto C slash 7 Days to Die. So it'll take your vanilla and copy it just like we did in that last video and then it will actually install the mod to that copy. So there we go. You can see it's copying everything over and we'll give it a minute here. Okay, and uh, it's done. We're, we're done. Now, with the Nutri Survival SDX, I always recommend this. If you are not playing online, don't use EAC. You'll actually get better performance out of the game and uh, less glitchiness. EAC, what it does is it just constantly checks everything and it just it takes up a lot more room. So make sure your use EAC is clicked off. Um, you can do it from Steam by going to the actual game in your, your Steam. Um, you know what, actually? Let's load that up. I'll show you guys that very quickly. We'll go to the library. To do this, all you have to do is go to your actual library, go to the game, press play, show game launcher, play, and then you can actually turn uh, EAC off through there as well, too. And you can either run and save as default for it turned off or just run once. But we got a little bit distracted there. Let's go back to True Survival SDX here. Now, you've gone and you copied the file. It's good to go. 
And what you'll want to do is you want to go ahead and press play mod. Now, if this is your first time watching this mod, this will take a while because what it will do is, is now at this point, it hasn't actually installed the mod yet. It'll download the mod files for you so you don't need to go and download the mod or the files or anything. It'll download those for you. It'll install them and then it'll launch the game for you. Now, I do believe the mod files for True Survival are about 500 megs. So it might take a little bit to download that and install it. But once you've done that, you've clicked play mod, load the game, and then you'll have the game loaded up as a True Survival SDX game. And pretty much that's the exact same way it works for these other ones. Um, if you guys could help me out down in the comments, if you've run across any problems, I'll try to help you out. Or if you've installed any of these other mods and there's something special that you need to do that maybe I just I don't know because I've never used this to install the other mods. Uh, but definitely let me know down in the comments if there's any glitches or anything that you fell into and if you had success with it. But I hope this helped you out, guys. I hope you do enjoy True Survival SDX with me as well, too, as I go through the new playthrough. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, stay classy, always back up those game saves, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys. Peace out. Hit it, you bunch of dirty hippies.